and we set up a, a process management division, if you like. And this was largely responsible for writing guidance, standard operating procedures, um, looking at how we how, how we implement legislation. But we had a had a sort of a review and, and we suddenly realized that while we call ourselves process management, actually what we were were a bunch of experts. In, in somewhat of an ivory tower, really, uh, divorced from the people who were doing the work a lot of the time and 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 doing things to people, you know, implement this and, and doing it in a very siloed way. So those poor operatives on the ground were getting all sorts of, you know, stuff coming down on them. Uh, so we did a, a bit of a review and they said, well, actually, you don't do much in the way of process management because you can't tell us you know at a basic level how long do things take how much do they cost mm. all that sort of thing. so as a consequence of that um i was asked to set up what we called at the time process re-engineering team which was which was quite common it was interesting though going back to my time in the chemical industry in the late 80s simultaneously we we sort of introduced total quality management and bs5750 as it was then iso 9001 as, as we know it now. But even then, they were, they were two separate things. And at the time, I just accepted that, you know, one is this horrific process by which you write everything down, put it in folders, <laughs> stick it in a library, and then, and then don't look at it till the assessor's coming in again. <laughs> uh, and you got total quality management, which really, really struck a chord with me. You know, I, that, that, that sort of customer supply relationship, price and non-conformance, all that early stuff. I didn't necessarily tie the two things together at that time. I didn't tie quality systems and total quality. I should have done, really. There was quality in the title, wasn't there? I don't know. It's, uh, it's still quite a common problem today. <laughs> it, it is indeed. <laughs> and, and, we, and we're still doing that. Um, but there was something in my mind that had, had, had triggered. And, and I think when I got to this point that I was asked to set up process re-engineering, which was the terminology at the time, I think I sort of remember back to that total quality, certainly the total quality management time. and. And thinking about my, you know, my process experience, um, and it became quite a natural f- fit for me. 